flew in there, landed the plane, uh, anchored it, and decided to uh, fish right off the plane for, for about an hour. We trolled around in the airplane for a little bit. Deshaun! Deshaun, bud. Good man. What do you got, Travis? I, I've never done this in my life. He uh, he says, we're going to... We're gonna fish off the side of the plane today on the floats. Yeah, we don't have a net over here. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Don't lose your yeah. uh, rod there, yeah, bud. I know, that's why I'm, I'm hanging uh, two rods, two hands. Beauty. Get in and try to get us started. Fish on. He's not very big, but you know what, guys? We wanna have a nice fish fry tonight. He'll be, uh, he'll be just fine. Good pan size, eh? Yeah, he's good pan size. Good pan size. Nice walleye. That's really a nice, nice one. walleye, Miguel. Really nice one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah beautiful. Nice. Beautiful fish. Yeah, that is nice. So it's a big rock that you kind of see come up to the, to the surface of the water, and that's where Joel likes to fish. We got caught in a rainstorm, and I said, hey, Andy, be faithful. When, when that rain, sometimes it pours, and so does it turn on the fishing. Oh, you can net it yourself. It's a little tiny walleye. Oh. Here, come on, bring it in here. Boy, that was really ugly looking, the way we landed that. <laughs> little, just a beauty. Yeah, we call those sti little sticks of butter That's right great. there. Huh? All right, so Joe and I slayed them. Oh. What we have here is a smallmouth. Very aggressive fish, keep the net down. Not ready yet to come in. He's got another jump in him. Oh, he took it heavy. We got at least a four pounder here. Wow, beauty. At least a four pounder. Whoa, she's really fighting. Let's get her in that net. Boy, the size of the tail on that thing. On this one, it'll be a breeder size in the next year or so, so we want to make sure that this one lives. We caught a number of really good eating fish. Um, the, the five and a half pound one or whatever, we let that go so it could go and make more babies because that was a perfect breeding size fish. What you got, Travis? Ooh, nice, bass. Nice, nice, bass. Bass. Nice, nice bass. Nice bass. Nice bass. bass. This place is awesome, man. Oh, it's yeah. beautiful. What a lake, Joel. Wig. Ready? Yeah. Oh, well, let's take another run. Oh, we got a jumper. Yeah. Just keep the rod up high. And there you go. I'm going to give you the whole thing. I'm going to rebate and get in on some of the action. Uh, right away, I, I caught a nice northern pike. Gal hooked on to a nice bass right afterwards. He's got just a little guy. Well, you know, I don't. Yeah, we're going to let him. It's a nice walleye, Miguel. Just take your time, buddy. Real nice walleye. Really, really, really nice walleye. Right under the plane, eh? Yeah, just bounce straight off the bottom. Yeah, beautiful walleye. Take your time. Take your time, buddy. Oh yeah! Look at that one. Oh yeah! That's it. That's like a 22 inch walleye. Really nice fish. That's nice. Good Miguel. job. Good, Good job, Miguel. Put your there. Okay. Let me uh, let me pull him out, and then we'll put him right on the stringer. And we're definitely having a fish right now. Good action. Right when we're ready to leave, Miguel pulls through and catches a nice big walleye. So, I guess we're staying for another five minutes, Travis. Cool. So how are you getting two walleye and we're getting no walleye? What's the deal, Miguel? Man, what? I got some walleye scent in my pocket. That's why all the walleye are coming. Now we know. Now we know the secret there, so Travis. I'm worm in the pocket? Worm in the pocket, walleye on the stringer. Oof. I wonder if Andy and Joey are catching any fish. And um, cause we're doing pretty good, so I'm, I'm assuming they're doing pretty good. On the last one, I wanted to explain what I was using. It's a quarter ounce jig head with a little uh, uh, sexy shad swim bait on the, bo on the bottom there. You can see it can catch anything from uh, pike, walleye, or bass. It's a great movement on there. This one's just a little bit too small for me to fillet. Uh, so we're gonna let this one grow bigger. I love driving around, looking at my depth finder, looking at the terrain underneath. Pull that thing in. It's a little one. It's a small one. And the biggest thing that you look for is underwater mountains. Fish love to congregate around uh, underwater hills, mountains, and he caught one five pound, over five pound uh, smallmouth. But we also caught uh, a half a dozen walleye. Fish on! 
Underneath the boat. Nice job, Andy. Nice job, Andy. Oh, look at that color. It's like a nice walleye. This one's gonna make it to the table. Oh! Oh! We got a we got a nice 17 inch walleye right here, somewhere around 17 inches. Uh, we are going to uh, fillet and release to the grease. Yumbo. That's a good that's a good shot though. Bass. Can a fish bite. Okay, just give me one second here. Travis. Yeah. Uh, maybe the net. Maybe the net. Just give me a second here. I got this thing. This thing. I don't know what to tell you to grab, buddy. It's a bit of a disaster right now. Okay, just get this thing in the net if you could, Travis. Thank you. Okay, I will deal with both fish at the same okay, time that's now. That's fine. Joey and Andy are out fishing. I think they had a good day, uh, but they got caught in the rain. We're waiting in the rain now uh, to get the airplane back to our main uh, main cottage where we're staying. I'm in nine feet and had a had a had a tet. Smack. Fish operate at a certain depth. Uh, if you're throwing in two to four feet of water, you are wasting time. If you're throwing in 20 feet of water, you are wasting time. Four and a half, beautiful. It is vitally important to know the depth of, the, of where you're fishing and also the underground structure. I knew that those guys have probably got lucky as well and uh, we were gonna have a fish fry.